make some space in your man cave, set up your computer and monitor, preferably at a large desk. Buy a couple sets of 4 inch PVC plugs. Get at least three heavy duty strap ties. Get one tie plate. Get two concrete blocks that look like this and a solid concrete block that looks like this. Construction adhesive, not to be confused with caulk, Velcro, a rigid mouse pad. Find a length of tread board in the stairs section of a hardware store. Ask for it to be cut into three pieces, 14, 14, and 20 inches long. A few dozen nuts, bolts, and screws. Size will depend on your strap ties and the mounting holes on your stick and throttle. Let's start with the rudder pedals. I like the SciTech Pro Flight Combat Rudder Pedals. The device comes with big Velcro adhesive strips. I stick it directly onto my carpet. It won't move at all during use. Now let's talk about the throttle stand. Use the construction adhesive to bond the concrete blocks and tread board together like this. Put the longest board on bottom for stability and to protect your carpet. The solid block goes on bottom for a low center of gravity. Use plenty of adhesive for each bond. Orient the board so the rounded edges face towards your seat. And allow the adhesive to set for several days. Once it is set, Screw your throttle into the top boards. The finished stand will weigh almost 100 pounds and is extremely stable. Now let's talk about mounting the stick to your office chair. I had several goals in mind for my chair mount. First, it had to be between my legs. This mimics real life and makes it infinitely easier to steer with your left hand should you temporarily need to use your right hand on the mouse or the keyboard. Second, I didn't want the stick to be out so far in front of me that it would interfere with my desk. Third, I wanted the stick to be detachable. That makes getting into the chair easier. The chair can also be used for normal sitting whenever I'm not flying. So here's how it's done. Start by slipping at least two strap ties into the metal base of your chair. Retighten the metal base over those ties and then screw the strap ties to the wooden underside of your chair. I used an extra strap tie down the center of the chair for reinforcement. When you're done with that, bolt the tie plate to your strap ties. The tie plate will serve as the base supporting your PVC plugs and ultimately your stick. The tie plate that I purchased had two sharp pieces of metal protruding downward. I just capped them with ping pong balls for my own safety. Here's what it looks like from the side with the PVC plug attached. And from the top. Drill your holes around the square peg in the PVC. As for the stick itself, notice how the 4 inch PVC plugs are just the right size for the Thrustmaster Warthog. Saw off that square peg in the PVC plug and then you'll have a flat surface onto which you can attach the Thrustmaster stick. Just drill 4 holes and screw the stick right on there. Okay, now we're almost done. What I have so far is a detachable stick mount between my legs on a normal office chair and plenty of clearance from my desk. Do you see how the PVC plug tubes slide right into one another? The stick stays mounted tightly until you yank it off again. As for the mouse pad, apply the adhesive backed velcro strips to the arm of your chair like this. Be sure to use the soft and fluffy half on your chair. Then apply the rough side of the velcro strips to the bottom of a rigid mouse pad. I recommend this one by Rocketfish because it's very large and very rigid. When you're ready to fly, just stick the mouse pad onto the chair. If you're worried about the mouse falling off, 
you can apply layers of duct tape around the edges. Finally, although not necessary, I recommend these two options. These shooting gloves from a company called Hatch double as great flight gloves. They cost about $15 and they keep a lot of sweat and chocolate off of my expensive hardware. I also recommend getting a compact wireless keyboard. I think this one was less than $20. Okay, that's it. Happy flying, guys.